Words of a Woman Who Breathes Fire. So that was in 1983. Yes. What was the response to that book? There was a pretty big response, Mm -hmm. which was kind of amazing for it still being 1983. Mm -hmm. That's your first publication. Yes. And I always wanted to be a writer since I was a kid. And uh, I remember the first copy that I received from my publisher. I read it cover to cover. And my first reaction was, oh, my God. Of course, they didn't have that expression back then. (laughs) It was like, I said this and that and that about myself. Uh I was shocked because I was telling all these truths. Yeah. You know, things that you don't. Being nice Chinese girl, you don't talk about your attraction for women. You don't talk about your addiction. Yeah. I got that book when most likely in 1986 uh, in New Haven when I was at school and basically was looking for other Asian American women's writings because I had, um, uh, you know, been exposed to, uh, you know, Nelly, Janice Mercatani, Merle Wu through This Bridge Called My Back and mm-hmm. Janice Mercatani's books. I distinctly, you know, remember, wow, now I could see that there was other Asian American lesbians. Like, you know, that resonated with me because you don't, obviously, you can't read about it very often anywhere. Mm-hmm. You know, being being recognized as this year's 2016 Phoenix honoree, um, that was very humbling for me. Mm-hmm. I mean, I I cried because I I think I felt like part of the reason I left San Francisco was that I was not being acknowledged or respected or valued. Mm -hmm. You know, when Amy Suyoshi first came down to interview me Uh in 2014, Mm -hmm. she called me a legend. Mm. And I I had kind of an adverse reaction to that Mm -hmm. because I don't see myself as a role model. I certainly don't see myself as a legend. Or an icon. Mm. What is it about not being seen as a role model? Like that you don't think you're a role model? Because I didn't do these things to become a role model. I just followed the path Uh that I was given, Uh that I was walking along. I'm not going to say, yes, I am Kitty Tsui, the legend. But I can say, (laughs) yes, I am Kitty Tsui, the writer. Right. Well, thank you, Kitty, for doing that and for, you know, blazing a trail. And even though, you know, maybe you didn't set out to blaze a trail, I don't think, you know, people usually do that. They just happen to have done what you've wanted to. And that in turn has become uh, blazing a trail. So thank you for being, you know, a role model. And thank you for being a figure for many people who need to know more about. And, you know, thank you for your writing. And I hope you continue to do so. Thank you.